altcoin season. Today's video, we wanna have a look and understand if there's an increased possibility of altcoin season happening soon and also review some altcoin trades that we have been looking at and taking in the lead up to this. So if you're new to the channel, thanks very much for stopping by. My name is Jason Pizzino. You found your home of Cryptonopium, the place where you can get your information hopium free. The caveat to that is that the thumbnails and the titles are probably full of hopium. That obviously helps the SEO. Let's move on. If you're a returning subscriber, thanks again. Guys, remember to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and the bell notification icon so that you can see this content come up as some of it is time sensitive. And also YouTube has its way of shadow banning cryptocurrency content at critical times. If you do find value from the video, let me know and hit the like button down below and leave your comments with your thoughts about altcoin season, any alts that you're particularly interested in. A couple more things before we get started. Scammers in the comments, I won't send you my WhatsApp or Telegram or email address. Anything that you need is in the video description. So just beware of that. They are using my face and my name and they'll continue to message. So don't reply to any of those. You should see my name with a little gray uh, symbol around my name. So that's the only real me. So the last couple of things, you can follow me on Instagram if you like, a lot of baby photos over there, but I also talk about cryptocurrency and updates nice and quickly. TradingView link is in the description. That's the software that I use for my technical analysis. I'm not giving you minute by minute technical analysis. This is full on proper technical analysis. And if you want that, TradingView link is in the description. All right, last thing is you can check out my course that's coming up. Basically, new trading for long-term investors coming out this month. So register your email at my website. Link is in the description, not in the comment section. So check it out all in the description. Today, we're gonna look through Bitcoin volatility, Bitcoin fear and greed, Bitcoin dominance, and then try to put these all together to figure out how it's actually happening. Signs are showing good probability of altcoin season. So we'll have a quick look at these in the charts and then move on to our altcoins. Like I said, we're talking about some coins that we have mentioned on the channel earlier. Uh, the Polkadot stuff is way back two to three weeks ago. And more recently, there is a video for 2021 buying the dip. So this has a lot of altcoin suggestions in here that I'm looking at personally. So that's the latest from the channel. Let's have a look at TradingView now. So I'm gonna do a full video on Bitcoin today as well. I'm gonna dive deeper into the technical patterns at this top. There is a lot of hopium going around and fear and stuff like that, that Bitcoin could crash out of this pattern. But overall, it's looking like we're just lowering on volatility. Volume is dropping, that's what we have down the bottom here. The ranges are contracting and no, there is not any of these descending bull S triangles. All I'm looking at here is a triangle at the top of a flagpole. Weird terms, I know, but essentially we have gone straight up. Now we're consolidating. This could break down, it could go north. That is the nopium for the Bitcoin analysis. And I'll, like I said, I'll cover it in more detail later. But essentially, there is nothing really to say, but let's wait and see. So Bitcoin, the volatility is dropping. We can see that. Ranges are getting smaller and the uh, ranges of the bars are also contracting, comparatively speaking, to what they were about two weeks ago. So that's one sign that we could be moving into an altcoin season now. Next couple of things we wanted to look at are the fear and greed index and then also the Bitcoin dominance. So let's have a quick look at fear and greed. Nothing more to it than we can see that the index is dropping, 79. Last week, extreme, we we're at 90. And last month we we're at 93. So we're still extreme greed, but it's definitely dropping from where it was uh, even just a week ago. So we're at 79. This may continue down, but overall, it's looking good if it stays at this end because that just means that the greed is leaving, but we're not looking like a weak Bitcoin price is coming. So if we can range trade at these levels of 30 to 40K, maybe drop into the high 20s if we get that, then it looks like alts could start to move pretty quickly. The last thing I want to have a look at before we move on to the alts is Bitcoin dominance. Now Bitcoin dominance is btc.d if you want to check it out for yourself. Bitcoin dominance is dropping, which means money's either flowing into fiat or it's flowing into altcoins. And we can have a pretty safe guess that they that the dollars are flowing into altcoins because we've seen the pump. We've seen a lot of 
smaller cryptos start to pump. And so usually the cycle goes from Bitcoin to Ethereum plus large cap alts. And then if people aren't making their gains from those, they move on to the more risky stuff, which is small caps and also micro caps. So keep that in mind as we progress through the cycle. This usually happens multiple times throughout the Bitcoin bull market, like we saw during the last cycle. So we can take a quick look at that now. We just go across to BTC USD and then review 2017. So let's take a look at the first altcoin run that happened early 2017, pretty much the same time just four years ago. We had a bottom on Bitcoin early to mid January, and then it rose just to take out the all time high before falling again. So the volatility wasn't extreme, but it wasn't quite either. However, the price didn't really go anywhere for a period of a couple of months. We see these final lows in March, uh, mid to late March on Bitcoin. And now let's just use Ethereum. Sure, we could use Ripple, we could use Litecoin, we could use many others, but we'll look at Ethereum as a comparison here. Through early uh, January 2017, Ethereum's price just skyrocketed and it went up a hell of a lot more than Bitcoin went up. We can see it went from $10 up to $50, whereas Bitcoin went from about eight or 900 to 1200. So it put on about 50%, whereas Ethereum was putting on around 400%. So that shows that the ETH BTC chart was also playing out pretty heavily. And we can see here that it spiked into March. So the altcoins got a good run on. They had a little bit of a rest before they took off again. And then we had a long rest. This one only had a few weeks, took off again. And then we had a much, much longer rest, some range bound trading on their US dollar pair before they took off. So we can see that these are some of the catalysts to get us to an altcoin season. Now, once we're in an altcoin season, what happens? Altcoins explode to hundreds and even thousands of percent. We haven't seen this so far. So I'm thinking maybe we're just at that first leg of the altcoin season, if in fact we are in an altcoin season. And then they might explode even harder from here, which is hard to believe. Time periods, we just had a look at probably a few weeks to maybe a couple of months with a pullback in between, but they don't last forever. They don't last for a very long time at all. There is a longer period that we see of these altcoins falling, as you can see right here, all the way down, as opposed to them rising. A little bit of time up, much longer time down. Tiny little bit of time up, and then the rest is history. It just went down for a couple of years. This is Ethereum. so. As we are trading these, it's really important to either stay up to date, have a look at well, what other people are doing or whoever you're following, which more importantly, you should be doing your own thing. But if you are looking at there to YouTube to have some ideas and educate yourself, then definitely, it's a shameless plug, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon so that you see when the videos come out. That's going to be one helpful tip. Which altcoins should we follow? I think we've gone through the large caps now, small caps, they are popping off and then the micro stuff, the stuff under micro, I'd probably say under around 20 million. I don't know if there's a specific definition to cryptocurrency micro caps, but anything under that 20 million is has the potential to explode a lot more uh, as opposed to the small caps, which are kind of classes around that 50, maybe around 100 million to about a billion or so, whereas the large caps we know are in the multiple billions of dollars, uh, even tens of billions. So that's how I like to divide them up. Which coins are we watching for alt season? Uh, previous video, I've talked about three main targets of ours that we've got our eye on, Poles, API, three and one inch. So Poles is poker starter. Uh, what I'm gonna mention here before we have a look at the charts is focus on a few. It can be really easy to jump aboard so many of them, but if you start diverting your attention to multiple dozens of different cryptos, it's going to make it a lot harder to focus on just a few and get really good returns out of those. At the end of the day, you can go heavier on a few or you can go lighter on many, many, many different cryptos. The choice is yours and you just have to stick to that strategy and see it out. Otherwise you won't make very good gains across the board. Exit strategy, my thoughts, what I do, and this is just one of the exit strategies, pull the initial capital plus some and let the rest ride. So I definitely wanna take out my, some of my, well, the initial capital plus a little bit more so that I can then increase my uh, capital that I put into the next round of altcoin season, altcoin markets, you know, into those next coins so that I can get 
hopefully bigger gains. So I have a bigger basket to play with later. Uh, last thing is must pull profits to enter new trades. So th the main thing we, don't, we want to do is not lose our capital. So you're starting with a grand, five grand, 10 grand, whatever it is, you don't want to lose that money because you ride the thing right up and then you ride it back down. Pay particular attention to the Bitcoin chart as well because otherwise all of your hard work is just not worth its time if you could have just invested in Bitcoin. So pay attention to the BTC charts. Let's have a look at these three and we're just going to look at the market cap, see what sort of potential we have with them. Uh, one inch, we're sitting at now a market cap of 144 million. So one inch is over here and we have been looking at this go haywire. So I'm on a weekly chart. Uh, our entry was around, oh, that's my point there. Our entry was around here at, at around 150 or so. And I've got my targets set way up here. Uh, that's 100% to 300%. So I think for one inch, I'm pretty happy with a market cap of going somewhere up to around that five to 600 million. I'm pretty sure it's gonna go a lot more but I'm not taking that gamble. Like I wanna get some cash out of this and then move on to the next thing and then I'll have a whole lot left. Uh, $1.50, if I get 4X, then that's gonna be, it's gonna be about a $6 one inch. Um, just some rough numbers should be around $600 million. Like we can see a decentralized exchange going to around 600 million, especially when so many of them uh, decentralized, decentralized exchanges are in the billions. So I wanna keep that conservative, have a target to get some cash out and move on to the next thing. Uh, API 3, we're at, four bucks at the moment and the market cap is at 56. Problem with this is that it has a huge uh, total supply, but the circulating supply is very low. Circulating supply, that means there's only 14 million on the market and there's 100 million coins out there. Have to take a look at their tokenomics. That's why it might not be a great one to hold long-term just yet. If you don't understand that, essentially it's just supply and demand. If the demand's not there to meet the supply that comes out onto the market. No matter if it's a great project, it's going to push the price down. We saw this, it's just simple supply and demand mass. Uh, we saw it a lot with masternodes, which was a 2017, 2018 fad. And these masternodes were producing 30% per annum, 100% per annum, 10,000% per annum for some of these projects. And of course, it just suppressed the price and ruined a lot of these projects. So keep that in mind. That's why I think it could be a great short term, especially if the a supply is being released slowly initially, or there's a lockup period for people who have uh, bought earlier on. So let's have a quick look at the volume again, 56 million targets for API three on my USD, because we've got 16 bucks. We've already seen a 16% increase here. Looks like we are going, where am I going for? Around $7.30 ish. So it's not too bad here. It's only a doubling from there. Uh, like I said, let's see if we get there short term just because of that extra supply that could be coming in. Who knows how long this will take. I'll keep my eye on it to see whether I can get more out of this trade. So again, subscribe. And if you do find value from the channel, it really helps out a lot if you like the video and watch it right through or do what you have to because that also helps the YouTube algorithm uh, get around, get this around to, to more people. So API 3, that's where we're at. Last one I want to look at is one of my favorites is Pokestarter. Pokestarter is, it's gonna be massive, it's gonna be crazy because it has poker in it. It's on the Polkadot network and people love Polkadot. It's kind of that simple at the moment. None of these projects really have to do anything, although Pokestarter is a decentralized crowdfunding software source uh, program to, for people to use and that has the potential to have fantastic market sentiment as well. The real showing for these coins is how they will fare in the bear market. That's going to be whether the, that that'll show whether they're going to stick around long term. So looking at this, this is 68 and a half million targets for polls. We were entering at around 95 cents to a dollar. Yep, and then the targets I have are way up here at three dollars and four and five so these little things are the alerts and that's what you can set on uh, tradingview.com you will need the paid version to set multiple alerts whereas the free version only gives you 10 alerts i think it's worthwhile you're paying your 12 15 20 bucks a month for the software that can give you great gains if you can set your alerts sure there are other places you can set alerts so go for gold but what we're looking at here is around a 10 to 1 return. I'm obviously going to track this as well because if something happens at one of these 
targets, then we have to be ready for it. So that's what we'll be following on the channel. Pokestarter, API 3, one inch, all looking pretty good to me at this stage. And that's the wrap up of the altcoin video. Are we at altcoin season? Question for you guys, what do you think? Is altcoin season coming to the crypto market yet? Is it here? Have we passed? Are we gonna see a second round of it if we have already seen the first round? Let me know in the comments down below. Hit the like button if you found some value from it. And of course, subscribe and hit the bell notification icon if you wanna continue up to date with the videos on the channel. Your home of Nopium. None of that BS Hopium. All right, guys, appreciate you sticking around. Links are all in the description. Don't go into the comments. And if you want to uh, sign up, I've got a massive discount for the first 100 guys who sign up and purchase the trading course coming out. So link is down there. Go to my website and leave your email address. That's all you got to do. Catch you guys at the next video. Until then, have more fun to get more done. Peace out.